What we found in some historic asteroid samples, discussing a record-breaking space flight, and our Psyche spacecraft sets sail to study a unique asteroid. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. On October 11th at our Johnson Space Center, we revealed the 4.5 billion year old rock and dust samples from asteroid Bennu that our OSIRIS-REx mission recently delivered to Earth. Initial studies of the sample material show evidence of water and high carbon content, which together could indicate that the building blocks of life on Earth may be found in the rock and dust. During an October 13th news conference at our Johnson Space Center, NASA astronaut Frank Rubio discussed this U.S. record-breaking 371-day spaceflight aboard the International Space Station. It makes you appreciate how unique our planet is. When you look at our planet and you realize how perfectly it works to, to keep you know, all nine billion of us alive, it's, it's pretty incredible. Extended space flights like Rubio's could provide valuable data about the effects of long duration space flight on the human body as we get ready to send humans back to the moon on Artemis missions to prepare for human exploration of Mars. And lift off, lift off of Falcon Heavy and Psyche. Also on October 13th, our Psyche spacecraft launched aboard a SpaceX Falcon Heavy rocket from our Kennedy Space Center. Psyche is on its way to a metal-rich asteroid of the same name. The mission could teach us more about how rocky planets like Earth formed. NASA will host live coverage of the October 14th annular solar eclipse starting at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on NASA television, the agency's website, and the NASA app. We will also stream the live coverage on several of our social media accounts. Learn more about the October 14th annular eclipse as well as the upcoming total solar eclipse that will occur April 8, 2024 at science.nasa.gov eclipses. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more about what else we're up to, check out nasa.gov.